Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, uh, I'm hoping that you're having a relaxing day, but as well as reflecting. Um, I know today is the new moon, uh, so all type of things are occurring today, but hopefully you're able to reflect on the things and step back and see the bigger picture on why you had to go through what you had to go through and hoping that you're healed from whatever kind of confusion you have going on in your life. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also if you feel like you're comfortable enough um please drop me a, a line or two I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're up telling me you about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. As well as if the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are really going through some dark times right now and need answers towards their many questions that, that, that they're going through along their path. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share. And on your social media favorites wherever you see fit i don't know why i got stuck on that for a minute but <laughs> i hope you're able to uh thank you for the support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today um i had to change my music because that one was like you know it had certain high pitch frequency sorry there goes some lights again flashing in the video uh, my energy is like all over the place but it's in a good vibe it's at a very high frequency but very good vibe as well so i would love to share that with y'all um because i know we all really need it especially for today <laughs> so but uh the meditation music i'm listening to is 432 hertz self-connection meditation connecting with your higher self synchronize your energy well that could you know there it goes <laughs> that could answer the questions to the light flashing that uh, coming from my my aura so, uh, but today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Elka, the battle is not with your, ourselves, but it's with the trauma that we need to part from, which is true. You know, I know uh, y'all probably say, oh, Lord, here she go talking about this again. But, you know, we're all going through different things that has really messed us up the long way. It's really, you know... Um, when we're heading towards a better chapter in our lives we have the signs that are constantly coming back and forth constantly coming back and forth if you're like me uh if you see the mirroring numbers the synchronicities they're telling you know there's indication that they're sending things to your life that things are either stopping or slowing down one door is about to close another one's about to open and it really is you know there's sometimes i used to give the side eye and just like yeah whatever and i it really was but i was so busy focused on the situation that i was going through and not paying attention to the lot you know to the signs the angels archangels universe source and whatever were sending me you know i try to be grateful for those things like today i was very emotional um it was like confusing confusion of emotions like happy releasing so i was very grateful for certain things it was sad because i was grieving the situation that i was parting from but i know i had to part from it with love you know everything that has happened in our lives is is sent a powerful message whether or not you know and there are sometimes i know y'all have been through some traumatizing things and for that you know i hope you can really truly you know heal from those things because it's just like if i if i've never been through it i would not know how to handle that so you know i'm just like you know handle yourself with ease you know because I, I, I know people are like Rosalyn you need to let that go if you have never been through that situation please don't give nobody advice about that just you know send them loving vibes to give them that comfort to allow them to be able to heal that's why I feel like when it comes to other people especially when they come at you and if they never been through that situation they don't know how a person can perceive that pain that they're going through that's why you know if I can't even fathom that I don't even try to tell somebody you know let go even though you need to let go you know it, it's at that point you need to just send loving vibes towards their way you know because th there's a lot of y'all love bugs to tell me y'all been through things and i can really really sympathize with you so it's just like if i've never been through a situation like that i just send like archangels towards your way to help you guide you towards that healing process that you really need to deserve to have because it's just like you should not have to live your life reflecting on things that has happened to you 
you know there's life out there that needs to be lived in happiness and joy and love that you truly deserve to have in your life you should not have to reflect on the pain that has been placed upon you from either a childhood or even adulthood you know you deserve that you know there's no you know there's no answers on the reason why these people did these things to you you know basically it's just like if you look at it it's something that, that has been done to them so that's all they know you know or there's things that they see in you that they can't see, see themselves and they are intimidated by the light that you choose to cast upon them so some people choose to want to break you I've had that happen to me a lot of times because there's people that actually told me Rosalind for the things that you told me you went through you know I'm not strong like that and they don't realize just for you to be able to admit that you have been through a situation that you're trying to heal from trying to get that answer to be able to part ways with that you in that that dark place that's a strength that is strength you should never be upset with somebody about that you know because you never know what that person had to go through to get to that point you know even though there's times I go through trials and tribulations I try to allow people to step back and look at your situation you know it's yes it's sad that you went through the things you you went through yes it's sad that these people have put you in a place that where you that's all you see when it comes to certain people or just come with people in general like I've told you there it breaks my heart when I've seen somebody go through some really messed up stuff and it stops them from being in relationships just because of the situation they've been placed upon that breaks my heart to know that people do you know that that situation has messed them up in a mental and uh, psych, psych uh, what is it uh, the inner psyche you know psychological that's why I meant psychological way to where it made them put walls up towards people because they don't allow themselves to be loved because of certain situations that's been placed upon them I've had it is a blessing when you can still want to love even though there are so many things that has made you want to hate people but it's just like yes these things have happened and I pray that these things will never happen to you again but then it allows you you know if you open yourself up to love it allows you to see the red flags that comes along with a person if they're not meant to be in your life and if you have toxic people that are in your life I pray that you have the the strength to be able to cut those cords with it because everybody deserves to be happy you know you should not be in a relationship even if it's a friendship you know uh, or a relationship that you should jeopardize your happiness just to be able to be around this person or you jeopardize your happiness because you choose to not want to be alone don't do that you know but if there's things that you're still holding on to that has made you you know really look at life in a different way don't allow a person a, somebody's person a person's bitter actions allow you to look at the world in a bitter way you know because there is beauty out there in the world there is love out there in the world that you know is looking for you while you're looking for it it's looking for you but you have to be at that point where you want happiness to come in your life but you have to be that person that can make yourself happy first you know don't ever look on the exterior trying to find something that you really need to find in the in in, 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 in here in, inside basically I can't say the word but allow yourself to be able to heal because it's just like sometimes we you know we have been in the most traumatizing state to where it has really cut you off in the world and make you feel like every person out there is like that you know there I've heard women say all men are the same and I've heard men say all women are the same and it's just like the ones you keep attracting if you keep going down that same boat and attracting the same kind of people don't expect to have a different outcome especially when you're seeing all the red flags there you know when people are in a hurry to jump into a relationship or they're in a hurry to jump and get married those are narcissistic people because they don't they want to hurry up and have you make that decision before you really get to see that real person and when you finally get to see that real person you're so deep in it it's hard to get up out of it so you have to be able to learn to heal from those things that has brought you into that dark dark space you have to be able to part ways with things you know you want things to be better in your life you want to be able to live a better life to where you don't have to always constantly look over your shoulder if you're with somebody you should be able to trust them when they're not in your face you know you should be able to do that but instead of you know you want that better life you can't keep on holding on to that trauma 
like I said in the other video, if you're going up that, like that, that wall of happiness, that blessing at the mountaintop, you know, where you're about to post that flag up and say, yes, I made it. You are not going to be able to get up that mountain quick enough. If you're holding out all that bag of resentment, all that bag of hate, all your bag of mistakes. Yes, we all make mistakes. All, we all have failures. We all have setbacks. But that don't mean you need to pay for them for the rest of your life. Those mistakes, setbacks, and situations have supposed to have taught you something. There's a lesson throughout all those things to let you know to never give up. Believe that you'll be able to get through these things. Knowing, yeah, at that situation, there are certain situations you've been in where you felt like you would never be able to get over. And then you can look back at certain situations and say, I really cried over that. Or I really allowed this thing to really... You know, I've seen people where, you know, broke up and like, oh my God, I can't live without this person. Yes, you can, because you live without them before they got there. You can live out <laughs> without them being there. You have to be able to learn the lesson throughout every relationship, every connection you have met has brought, brought you a lesson and a blessing. Whether or not it filled with something good or bad, it's always taught you something. So allow this situation to teach you. Allow this situation, you know, to let you know you are stronger than the pain that's been caused to you. And I have to keep telling myself that you are so much stronger than the things that have been placed upon you. Look at what you're doing now. I mean, I love what I do. I love the fact is I can have my setbacks. I can have my failures, my mistakes, and allow myself to admit that I've had them, but just to learn from the situation that it has taught me. You know, never sit up here and hate the fact that I did something for someone because that showed my character. And it showed a lot about their situation and their character as well. Their attitude came with the fact that you have put a blessing in their life. And if they wanted to mess that up, then hey, that's all on them. That ain't on you. You keep on doing what you need to do. <laughs> that, that shows you that you're a strengthful person. You know, I've been at that route where I said, I wish I never did something for this person. Not now, I don't. I never do that. No matter what person, even if it was some people I recently parted ways with, I allowed myself to say, you know what, I was a good person. When they needed me, I was there. You know, when I was able to see things that they weren't able to see within themselves, I gave it to them. Some people are not, we, sometimes we put like, lifetime expectation on seasonal ass people. <laughs> so allow yourself to learn from those situations. Allow yourself to heal, but allow yourself to be able to look at your situation and leave it at the door leave it at the door because when you open that door of blessings the opportunities i guarantee you when that happiness comes into your life the last thing you're going to be thinking about is that situation you were just in you can just sit up here and look at it and say you know what this situation has healed me strengthened me in so many different ways i never imagined and your blessings are there so you're not going to be worried about those troubles behind you so i hope you are able to relate and resonate with the, the content of my video please go ahead and drop me a line let me know if you're going through situations like that allow yourself to be able to see the the lesson throughout that tragic situation and my post notification shot out goes to let me see Brittany Wick Daquan and Jay Cartwright much love to you as well I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Have a blessed, blessed safe weekend. Be responsible. Like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Even share. But go ahead and drop me a line so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. So much love to you. Peace. And be wild.